Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rebecca. If you are returning, then welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be a first impression on the Fedora. Um, it's the Soft Matte Longwear Liquid Foundation. Um, I am going to be testing this out today to see how full coverage it actually really is um, and how, how many pumps you actually need to build it up because it says you need two pumps to make a full coverage. So that is what I'm going to be trying out today. I am also going to be showing you how I apply it and um, what it sits like on my skin. I'm going to apply it with a brush on one side and a sponge on the other and then we'll see if comparison wise there's any difference between the two and then I will do check-ins throughout the day to see what it's like. Um, I actually purchased mine from wish.com rather than through the Facebook site because it was £5 on Wish and it was 7 99 on Facebook so obviously Wish can be a little bit iffy but to be honest the packaging seems fine the bottle seems fine everything seems fine so we'll just see how it goes so yeah let's just jump straight into the video so like i said today i'm going to be testing out the fedora um soft matte liquid foundation i don't know if this shade actually matches me because i'm not actually um opened it up yet this is the first time me opening up so this is just what the packaging looks like. Um, like I said, um, I got this from um, wish.com. It was five pounds. I've seen it advertised a lot on Facebook and it came up as a thing on Wish and I thought, you know what? I have ordered a couple of things from Wish and we'll see if it's actually any good. Cause obviously we don't know if it's the legit one, but to be honest, when I looked on Facebook, they were only going for 7 99 as well. Like they had a, an offer on, so I was like, well, it's not that far away from the price, so we'll just see if it works. So I got mine in the shade uh, 02, 102 Nude, and it says to it says with a brush, but I'm gonna use um uh I'm gonna use one on each side. So I'm gonna use a brush on one side and a sponge on the other because, as you know, I like to use a sponge for my foundation normally. So I'm just checking it up like it says. Right, and then and as always in these testings I am going to prime one side of my face and unprime the other side of my face so I'm using the Benefit um, Professional Matte Foundation the uh, matte primer I'm popping it on this side And using my professional as normal so it says to use one pump for medium coverage so that is what I'm going to do so I'm just going to be pumping this onto oh, there's a little look on it mm. Okay, one pump doesn't look a lot, but you know what, we'll just, oh, the colour might be actually alright for my skin, to be honest, we might be in luck. So I'm going to apply it on the um, primed side first, actually now I'll start with the unprimed side, and just pop a little bit on. And then I'm going to use my brush to blend it in. Oh, and sorry for my brush today. I'm using the flat angle Kabuki, Kabuki the F88 from Sigma. So, first off, I think it matches in really well. Um, 
I've probably used, so that was a full pump, I've probably used about maybe three quarters of that pump to do this half of the face. Now it does say to use one half, one pump all over the face for a medium coverage, but to be honest I think that's given a really nice coverage. So you could probably get away with one and a half pumps for your whole face on a medium coverage. Um, I think the colour looks really good, um, blends into the skin nicely. It doesn't feel too heavy to say that it's a full coverage, but obviously I'm going to build it up a little bit. So I'm just going to use whatever's remaining left on my hand, go in with the brush and just pop some more on. Just to see if this it obviously builds up to a very, very full coverage. The advertisements that you see, um, it's why they're putting like loads on and blending it out. Personally, I don't like to do that. I like to build up my foundation and then in certain areas, see where I like want a little bit more coverage. Cause it's like they're literally like painting it on like with a it's like a flat um foundation brush that they're using which is fine you can do that but for me personally i just like to build it up it's blending in beautifully with the brush as well it's not like creating any lines or anything like that which is really nice so there is one side of the face done so i'm going to go in and do the other side now with my sponge so i'm going to take another pump like we have so there it is and then just do what I did pop a little bit on my face just to spread it out so that it's a fair test and then we'll see if this absorbs any more product and what kind of cover it just gives off I think it's kind of given the same finish obviously i've just built this up a little bit but in comparison to beforehand it's given like the similar kind of um coverage maybe just a little bit more i need to put um down here just because i've got a couple of problem areas but other than that i think it's all right so i'm going to use the rest of what i've got in my hand and do what i did to build it up It definitely conceals imperfections very well as you can tell it does um dry down a little bit darker than what it comes out um just a tiny bit but that's it just drying so right so i am really happy with the coverage that this has given me um what i'm gonna do actually is build up um the coverage just a tiny little bit more just in a couple of the areas that i need it i'm just gonna use half a pump for this so i'm not taking a full pump i'm just taking half Right, so flattening it down a little bit on my hand so this is like where you can see the difference in when it's wet to when it's dry down so which is fine but it still matches anyway um so on this side obviously i'm going to go in with the sponge i'm just going to pop a little bit more on my forehead just because i don't feel as though it's covered that just as much as what i'm wanting it to a little bit on here So it says you can build it up to a full two pumps. Now, um, I'm just using an extra half over all of it, so that shouldn't make that much of a difference. Then going with the brush on the other side and just do the same that I was doing. Pop a little bit more on my forehead. So the brush is kind of giving a bit of the same method because I am just stippling it into the skin. I'm not like swiping it down. There we go, so that is the foundation applied. I think my skin looks really nice. It looks really smooth, it's full coverage. You can't see like any of the imperfections that I had before, which is really good, because obviously this is what this uh, foundation claims to do, is a soft matte foundation. So what I'm gonna do is apply the rest of my concealer and powder. I will kind of speed this up a little bit, and then you can see how it sets down, how concealer blends on it and everything like that. And then I will come back um, when I've finished all of my makeup, and then you can see what the finished result looks like.
right so this is all of my makeup finished i really am liking the way that this foundation looks my skin looks really smooth um you can probably see my pores just a little bit more on this side but it's nothing too crazy um it's just a tiny bit in this area here which obviously can happen you know i've not got a pore filling primer on but overall i really like the way that my skin looks i think it looks really nice it looks really healthy um obviously i've got a bit of highlighter on but even just itself and it doesn't feel too heavy either on the skin like it doesn't feel like a super full coverage foundation but it is giving me the coverage that i want so so far i am really really liking this foundation so what i'll do is what i always do and i will check in throughout the day if it starts to get shiny then i'll do a check in if it doesn't then i'll see at the end of the day we'll see how it goes i finished applying this foundation at 12 30 the time is currently um quarter past one now because i was just finishing my rest of my makeup drying my hair and straightening it and things so we'll see how long this lasts before it gets shiny all right right everyone so this is my first actual check-in and the time is actually like quarter past 11 which is quite late so to be honest i felt as though my skin's been okay it did get a little bit shiny probably about the peak time about maybe about nine o'clock but to be honest it was absolutely fine like it wasn't like i needed to full-on powder i was fine with the way that it looked and because we're just sitting at home like i wasn't bothered but overall obviously my skin is a little bit shiny now which is as expected because the, let's just call it like say i finished applying the foundation at half past 12 and it's now quarter past 11 so it's been on for about 11 ish hours roughly and to be honest, I am so happy with the way that this looks on my skin. The finish still looks amazing. And also, like, I can't believe how much, like, it's not actually got that shiny. Like, sometimes I would have this um, a lot worse with my normal foundations. So it's like if I'm working and stuff and I've not got time to top up, a lot of the times it actually looks a lot worse than what it is now, which I think is absolutely amazing and also the coverage is not really worn off anywhere to be honest i thought it might wear off a little bit around here but it's not done i'm actually really surprised because i have been resting like on my um hands and things just by habit i do it quite often but yeah i really like the way that it looks at the moment um obviously it's shiny i'm not going to deny that fact but i think it looks amazing for five pounds like come on you can't knock this foundation really in my opinion i have got oily skin and this is how bad it looks after 11 hours now how realistically is 11 hours without a top up when you've got oily skin it's not very normally a lot of the times you're like oh i top about two three times in between depending on the foundation but sometimes you do wind up or at least once whereas with this i don't feel as though i need to um it's lasted really well and probably if i powdered it down it would look absolutely fine so that is really good so yeah if you do try this foundation then please let me know down in the comments down below and see what you think of it i am really liking it at the moment you'll probably see it in new videos to come of me using it in different looks and things like that so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below as well it helps me out so much and once again, thank you so much to all my new subscribers as well. I really appreciate it so much. And yeah, I will just see you in the next one. All right, bye guys.